I read the script and I sat down with the director and talked about the story and I asked him lots of questions about um, what he was going to do with the film and he answered them all and and um, and then a lot of really good actors were attached to the script and then and then I, they they asked me if I wanted to do it and I said yes and then I did it and then it's coming out soon and that's the whole story. <laughs> I thought it was a great, great story of uh, liberation. I mean, the forest is a metaphorical way of talking about uh, freedom and stuff. I would like to know if this aspect of the story attracted you. And yeah, definitely. I mean, I think a lot of teenagers want freedom from their parents, and they don't want to be told what to do because they, you know, they have a certain amount of sense of, you know, reality, but not quite enough. You know, they think they know everything basically and and I mean that's what's supposed to happen but you know yeah that definitely attracts me to the film because I think it's kind of a beautiful it's beautifully depicted in in the cinematography as well so it's really wonderful at what level did you identify it with uh, Winnie? Are um, you any I, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> um, are you a little like her or totally different or I don't know I think I think that she I mean, I think she's like a lot of kids, you know, I don't, I don't think she's particularly like, like me. Um, I, I left home too to go see what I was going to do, so in that sense we're alike, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, why did you decide to, to take acting to become a, an actress? I was kind of exploring my options. <laughs> um, I, I, I wanted to see what I could do. Um, so I was kind of, you know, I was going to film school, and um, I I went to this acting class um, to be to tape the classes for the actors so that they could see what they were doing on tape, and um, and it was just really nice to see them get it right and it kind of, you know, I guess that's what directors feel when they have a scene complete and they they really live it and and I like that aspect of it. So shortly thereafter, I started going out on auditions and I got the program and I got this and then. <laughs> what has been the impact of being a uh, part of Gilmore? The impact? Um, it's, uh, it's, more, it's more work than I ever imagined myself doing. It's a very strenuous schedule and it's changed my whole lifestyle because I had to move to Los Angeles. And it's great though. It's, it's um, you know, it's, it makes other things possible. <laughs> Have you seen this film? Yes. Is it very different? Uh, the, I would like to know if you think that the final product is very different from what you were imagining while reading the script or while shooting. Yeah, I think every step of the way I imagined something different because I didn't, I hadn't really been a part of a process like this where there was a definite beginning and an end, and and um, I didn't, I couldn't really see where it was going because I'd never done it before. So. Um, yeah, I had one image when I read the script, and then there was another draft of the script that gave me a completely different idea. And then when we shot it, I kind of saw it coming together. But then once I saw the film, it was obviously more clear. <laughs> the mother is really kind of a very uh, disciplinary in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, she she kind of uh, limits the daughter a lot. Mm -hmm. is, uh, could you comment on that? Was yeah, she's very strict. She kind of wants to mold her daughter into something she's not, into like the social standard of what a 15-year-old year old girl should look like and how she should act. And Winnie just isn't anything like that, so she, of course, rebels from it. 